Blender is an excellent tool for creating detailed 2D layouts from your architectural design plans and rendering these layouts is straightforward with the Blender Blocks Asset Pack. Visit the links in the description to explore a comprehensive Blender course and grab the Blender Blocks Pack on Gumroad. The Blender Blocks Pack includes a variety of 2D furniture assets to streamline your layout creation. To get started, drag and drop a furniture asset, such as a chair, into your Blender scene. Then carefully position it into the desired location. Here I'll use the Move Manipulator to position. Then the Rotation Gizmo. This asset will now be included in your final render, making the process seamless and efficient. The pack also includes essential symbols for electrical and design plans including switches, lighting fixtures, TV points, and a customizable legend object to enhance your layout's clarity. The legend comes with a pre-configured modifier that allows you to add text descriptions and corresponding icons. For example, the first entry here is light recessed, paired with a recessed light icon. To add your own, first click the X button in the modifier to remove the existing object reference. Then update the text field to something like video camera, as we have one in the scene. The text will update instantly in the legend, and you can use the eyedropper picker tool to select that video camera object directly from the scene. This links the object to the legend, displaying its icon beside the text. If the alignment looks off, use the location fields in the modifier to fine tune the positioning of both the text and the icon. The Blender Block Pack also includes a curve object designed for creating detailed electrical plans. Here I can toggle on their visibility in the outliner, which is particularly useful when preparing your layout for printing. Best, use collections to group related objects such as furniture, symbols or electrical elements. This makes it easy to exclude specific groups from the render or viewport when necessary, keeping your workspace clean and efficient. We're currently viewing the scene through the camera, which has been set up for printing at a scaled A3 size using the Scale It add-on also available on our Gumroad page. To configure the camera, access the Scale It add-on in the Properties panel, input your desired scale, example would be 1 to 67, and apply the settings to ensure approximate proportions for printing. This ensures the layout matches standard paper sizes in the final output. Once the camera is scaled and all objects are placed, we're ready to render the layout. Freestyle is enabled in the Render Settings tab, and this will generate clean, hard outlines around all objects, giving the layouts a technical appearance. Freestyle is particularly effective for 2D plans, as it emphasises edges without adding unnecessary shading. Give that a few moments to complete. The result is a high quality detail layout. The image can then be saved from the Image menu by choosing Save Image. I have saved a render previously, so I can open this up off screen. Really great result using Blender. You can then go on and customize this further to get very creative. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the Blender Blocks Pack and the Scale It add-on, and of course our design and animation course, all available on Gumroad to accelerate your Blender workflow.